This video is sponsored by PCBWay. More on this later in the video. A nutaninverter is many things. First of all, it's a voltage follower with a gain of 1, an inverter with a gain of minus 1, and it's possible to set a gain in between these limits. This also includes a gain of 0. The basic antenninverter looks as follows. The gain of an antenninverter is given as 2x minus 1, where x is the position of the potentiometer wiper from 0 to 100%, or 0 to 1. With the wiper all the way to the input signal, x equals 1. This leads to a gain of 1, or in other words, this circuit now functions as a voltage follower. If you put the wiper midway the potentiometer, we have an x of 0.5. This leads to a gain of zero. This means that no signal will pass through and instead a DC voltage of about zero volts will be presented at the output. If you put the wiper at the lower limit of the potentiometer, the non-inverting input is connected to ground. The circuit now functions as an inverting amplifier with a gain of minus one. But what about the gain and offset? To add this functionality, we just connect a summing amplifier to the output of the attend inverter. One leg of the summer has a DC offset of minus to positive 12 volts with a gain of 1. The other leg has the attend inverted signal with a gain of 10. The complete schematic looks as follows. There are some added components visible. Resistors R1 and R2 around the attend inverted potentiometer tapers the response and feel of the potentiometer, so it's easier to dial in the 12 o'clock position, which as seen previously, leads to a gain of 0. Because the offset potentiometer is connected to the power rails, it is important to filter this offset voltage from possible noise on the rails. This is done with capacitor C1. C3 is an optional capacitor which limits the bandwidth of the op-amp to the audio spectrum. This can be done to filter high frequency noise and if needed, fix instabilities. I made a two layer PCB design in KiCad for a dual antenna inverter with gain and offset. The PCBWay plugin makes it easy to upload your design to their website and immediately get a quote on your board. To get the PCBWay plugin, go to the plugin and content manager and look for the PCBWay plugin for KiCad. Now with a single click, it is possible to quote your board and order them. For this PCB, I use the following design rules. The PCBs arrive within a few weeks and work like a charm. They are easy to solder and can take a beating when something goes wrong during assembly. For this demo, I fed a line level sawtooth with a frequency of about 3 Hz from our phone to the input of the attend inverter with gain and offset. I am probing the output of the circuit. With the gain at zero, no signal passes through, but in combination with the offset knob, the module now becomes a control voltage generator. When turning the attenuvert knob counterclockwise, a falling sawtooth becomes visible. With the offset knob, we can shift the whole waveform up and down. Now when turning the attenuvert knob clockwise, a rising sawtooth becomes visible, which we can shift up and down with the offset knob. Thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe if this video was useful and put any questions in the comments. Check out the post regarding the antenna inverter with gain and offset on my blog, link in the description.